Why did I come to the stream? Yeah, initially. Initially? Um, well, actually, it was kind of interesting because I hadn't, you know, I hadn't went to the um, Polish Communication Network for a while, so uh, I saw in the news that uh, Shy, you know, Shy of the Beef got arrested, and I was like, holy shit, he got arrested for punching a Nazi. Um, some guy that said 1488, and I, I thought that was, I thought it was fucking hilarious. So I was like, oh. Then I started paying attention to it, looking at the threads and shit, and I saw that it was like, where is this? Oh, it's right, it's right by me. You know, I'm from New York. I saw I was right in Astoria, so I was like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I took a shower. That <laughs> the second I saw that thread, I took a shower. I got dressed. You know, went to the bank, got some money, and just went right after the stream. And uh, yeah, I think. It's kind of like multifaceted in a sense. Like I wanted to meet people that were similar to me or that uh, had similar ideas, but at the same time, you know, I like debating and I like talking to people and eh, also provoking people. So it was a good experience to go out and kind of test the waters, so to speak, um, to see what it's like, what I can say and what I can get away with. And I mean, you know, I drink a lot, obviously, um, but. Uh, it was also kind of like, you know, when I was drunk that people would give it an excuse, ah, oh, he's just drunk, he doesn't know what he's saying. But that was really me just kind of testing the waters of what I can get away with saying, uh, or doing. And uh, it, it was, I thought it was a great experience. I mean, I got to meet so many people. Um, I made a lot of friends. I made a lot of enemies, I'm sure. I'm sure those uh, bandana wearing banditos that call themselves anti-fascist, but they're actually communists are probably looking for me because, you know, I scream at everybody because I'm just a fucking drunk. So, um, and why did you keep coming back? Oh man, all our guys were, they were so cool. Like when I first came in and I started talking to them and, you know, I'm not the kind of person that goes out and like shouts mean, like I don't go into a group or from the counter be like, oh, that day, man, bro, you know? Like, that shit kind of pisses me off, huh, to be honest, you know. Um, but I had a lot of good conversations with people and uh, threw out some of my ideas, what I've been thinking. And it was, you know, we may disagree, but at the same time, we have a good foundation, I think. Um, I don't know if you call it a foundation, but like a common ground. Yeah. Uh, like a good common ground on what we can talk about. And what I really love about like our guys is that like we can talk about anything and we're so used to seeing things that by the mainstream would be considered offensive or controversial or taboo but we talk about it like it's nothing like it's passing everyday conversation so uh, yeah I think the people and you know the trolling was fun don't get me wrong I mean that was that was amazing you know when you really get a good troll. I remember the first night I went there, we did the Roman salute, and I was the only white guy doing the Roman salute. We had a, uh, you know, brown, we had like a brown guy, we had an Asian guy, we had all different people doing the Roman salute. I was the only white guy there. And there's a picture, and there's a girl in the back of the face, she looked like the character from Scream, like her face was like, ah. Yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty funny. So yeah, that, that was good, but generally I think uh, our guys are pretty solid, you know, real people. I guess you could say. Real human beings, you'd say? Uh, no, they're, they're just, it's funny because you'd say normie, but like, I feel like our guys are normal. Like, they're normal, you know, they may be autistic or a little bit retarded, but they're, they're sane. They're not fucking batshit crazy fucking liberals or diehard conservatives. We're just like, people. And we talk, and we do our thing, and you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's uh, right now. It's a feeling. I have to think about it a little more. <laughs>